my channel and welcome to my desk tour video. This video was requested by this person here and it is also my very first collaboration video with a girl named Genevieve Burley who has an amazing YouTube channel and she posts daily videos so you should definitely go check her out and subscribe to her. I'll link her channel and her collaboration video down below. But now let's get on to my desk tour. So this is my desk. The desk, mat and chair are all from Ikea and I love them all. The chair is super comfortable and was relatively cheap compared to other chairs. And I love this desk because it is so big because I like to spread out quite a bit when I'm working so this desk gives me so much space just to spread out and I can have like all my stuff lined up everywhere. It's perfect size for me. It's literally like almost as big as my bed but <laughs> It's really good, I love it. So starting on the very right of my desk, we have my lamp, which is also from Ikea. It's not the brightest lamp, but it does the job. And underneath the lamp, as you can see, I just have my little dog pen pot, which is so cute. I got it from Typo, and I've just got a few cute little pens in there that I don't really use that much because they're a bit annoying to write with, but they are cute nonetheless. Moving across my desk in the center, my computer just kind of sits there. Um, normally it's charging because I use the battery up during school, but yeah, it just kind of chills there in the middle of my desk, feeling very important because it is, my computer is like, oh, what I would do if I did not have my computer, I do not know. So yeah, it just sits in the middle of my desk, but normally it is in use. And then moving across to the left hand side of my desk, we have another bigger pen pot and a kind of acrylic storage thingy. Um, these are both from Officeworks. In the pen pot I just keep a selection of pens as you may or may not have seen from my pen collection video. I will link it up here but I showed you all of my pens and there are so many pens so I just kind of swap them in and out but these are the ones I'm using at the moment. I just keep them in here so I can easily grab them and I actually really like this pen jar thing. It's a really good size and I like how it's split into three sections as well. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. On the top row are all of my sticky notes and also on the top is my little calendar from Muji. I don't really use it all that much but it's just a nice little accessory just to see it there and you know if I ever need to know what the date is I can just look on that and see. On the middle two rows are my notepads and washi tape and the bottom one is normally left fairly clear. I don't really have too many things I need to store there. At the moment I've just got some cards from my dad and my old running group that I like to take out and read occasionally because they're really nice ones. And the front bit of my desk is kept clear for when I need to work. So obviously when I'm working I have all my books laid out but when I don't need to work I try and keep it clear to make it easier for me to just come and start working rather than having to move all the stuff before I can start working. So front part is clear. Moving over to this 2x2 two two unit storage thing from Ikea. I'm sure you've seen this before. I have another one behind me. It's a 4x2 one. Um, they're literally everywhere. They're the most useful thing ever. And this kind of doubles as my bedside table. <laughs> But on this side, I use it to store all of my textbooks and notebooks and other school-related things. Oh, and my spare stationery. So, in the top left-hand square, I keep my files for each subject. So I'm taking six subject, and so there are six files, one for each, and then just a couple of notebooks to fill up the remainder of the space. In the top right hand unit I keep some of my textbooks and also some of my notes from last year that I refer to this year when I need them. In the bottom left hand unit I keep the remainder of my textbooks and notebooks and just other little things like plastic sleeves and whatever happens to need to be stored there. And then in the bottom right unit I have one of the little pull out drawer thingies from Ikea and this is where I keep all my pencil cases and spare stationery. So this is a lot of stuff because I'm a stationery addict. So lots of pencil cases and lots of spare stationery and any other stationery that doesn't fit in the pen pot on my desk. Which is quite a lot. <laughs> 
And now we move underneath my desk. This is just a quick little section of the video. But basically on the right hand side I just have a power pack where I charge my phone, iPad, laptop, camera, running watch and where I plug in my lamp. And then on the other side I have my bin which is also from Ikea because I love Ikea because every time I go to Ikea we get meatballs and I love Ikea meatballs so much anyway this is just a recycling bin so I just put paper in there and nothing else and that is the tour of my desk I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below any questions for my Q&A video that is coming up very shortly make sure to go subscribe to Genevieve all her channel details are linked below and she really deserves all your support and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos just like this one and I will see you in my next video bye